All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be making a sandcastle based off a book that we're about to read. So let's get going. All right, here we are. Welcome back to another video. I'm Mr. Mill and today we have a new book. This one's called, um, I forget, <laughs> Hum and Swish, sorry. Hum and Swish by Matt Myers. I found it at the library. I thought you guys would like it. So here we go. Hum and Swish. And it's well painted, and I can't wait to read it. I haven't read this one yet, so hopefully it's good. We'll see. All right, here we go. Jamie and the sea are friends. Jamie hums, the waves swish. People come and go asking questions. What are you making there? I don't know. Jamie says. Aren't you clever? I don't know, Jamie says. Isn't that pretty? I don't know, Jamie says. What's that supposed to be? I don't know, Jamie says. How cute is that? She's pouting. The waves swish. Jamie hums. Hmm. The sea tells stories, but it doesn't ask questions. Jamie's dad brings sunblock. Is that a horse? Maybe, Jamie says. Jamie's mom brings a juice box. When do you think you might be finished with your project? Not sure, Jamie says. Hum, swish. Someone else comes. She brings a lot of things, but no questions. What are you making? Jamie asks. I don't know yet, says the stranger. Me neither, Jamie says. Jamie and the sea and the woman are friends. Jamie hums. The woman swishes her paintbrush in a jar. I think I'm done, Jamie says. Me too, says the stranger. <laughs> that was a really cute book. Um, let's see if we can make an art project out of it. <laughs> let's get going. Okay, so this book uh, discusses uh, the idea of making art and how sometimes artists could be misunderstood. But uh, it was a good lesson, but I really couldn't figure out anything to do with it. So instead, we're just going to be making a sand castle because it was based on a beach. So with that said, all you're going to need is a drawing utensil, some colors if you'd like, and then a piece of paper. Now, my paper is orientated the wrong way. You want to make sure it's landscape or also known as horizontal. So we're going to flip it around. And then we're going to start off right away. So here, let's get going. All right, so first things first when you're building a sand castle is where the water is going to be. So I'm going to put my water in the background, but you know what? I changed my mind. I'm just going to start off with the castle and then we'll add the scenery later on. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do my best to figure out where my castle is going to be first. So I think I'm going to have two towers here. So maybe one right here and then probably one right here, maybe one right here and then probably my last one right here. Okay, now I'm going to put windows in all of them. So little kind of like capital D's that's sideways like this. All right. And then the ends are obviously going to be the cutoff point. So I'm going to end it all the way like this, like this. 
And then I'm going to bring these down that height, that height, maybe this one, this height, and this height, and this one like here and right here. Now we just got to connect these in a certain way using castle lines. So you guys remember those from this week's go live session. So I'm going to make some castle lines, making sure I don't go too far. I think that's as far as I can go. And then for this one, let's try to go up instead. So it's a little bit more different. And then over here, maybe I should go all the way down this way to make maybe just two. There we go. So we have the top portion done so far. So let's add some more. Maybe I'll add another tower over here. Maybe another tower over here. Add its window. Add its window. Bring it down. Bring it down. All right, and then maybe one more castle line right there, and then maybe some sort of door. Okay, I'm thinking looking pretty good. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is just kind of add some uh, kind of creative lines to symbolize the sand. So I'm able to take some brown and make a wavy line right here. Maybe some wavy lines right here, and then maybe one right there. And then on the background, I can just create kind of lines like this, and then. I can make my ocean line for the water like this. It's in the background, so you want to make sure you go behind the land. There we go. And if you want to add some waves, you can to symbolize that there is water in the background. And I think I broke my crayon. <laughs> All right. Let me just add some more stuff. What, what else can I add? Maybe a more sandy color. I think there is a crayon called sand, but I don't, I'm not sure if I have it. Tan's close. What color is this one? Burnt orange. What color is this one? Peach. All right, so I have these kind of colors symbolizing the sand, kind of. I don't think I have any colors specifically made for sand, but um, these are pretty close. So I think the closest thing I got is a color called tan. So what I'm going to do is not only am I going to shade the ground, just like how I am doing it right now, but I'm also going to shade the buildings because it is a sandcastle. Now if you want to add a shovel and pail, you can in my picture. I completely forgot. So if you want to add that before you start coloring, that's highly suggested. So I am going to leave the top windows probably pretty clear, but then the bottom windows I'm going to fill them in. All right. And I might as well make the background a little bit more interesting by making it a sunset. So why don't I add my warm color? So I got yellow, orange, and I think this is my red right here. I'm pretty sure this is red. There we go. So I'm going to start off with yellow first. Just like this. Followed by orange. It's a little bit hard to do this direction. I might have to rotate my paper, but I don't want to. There we go. And then next up is red. And then to blend them all together, I'm gonna make sure that I go deeper into the orange. And then for the yellow, sorry, for the orange, make sure I go deeper into the red. And then go deeper into the yellow. And then for the yellow, make sure I go deeper into the orange with the yellow. And then finally, I did not color the water yet completely forgot. So let's add some blue for the water going side to side just like this and ta-da there we go so that's our sandcastle hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sure I did it was pretty simple sandcastle but I think you guys can do it and that's basically it so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye